Welcome to Crude Tube. I'm Captain Crude, and here is NFL is rigged week 12 recap. Ugh. Here we go again. So I'm not going to go over those Thursday games. Already did that. Uh, but on Friday, you had the Jets tanking to the fish, the Dolphins. That was an obvious uh, uh, tank job. They started a third string quarterback and uh, teasing. Aaron Rodgers coming back in the coming weeks to save the day. You know, uh, Miami spanked them. But let, let's get to the uh, the real weekend games and uh, a couple of the thing, couple of notes to uh, go over. Now I made some picks last week. I, I don't normally like doing that, uh, but I just did it for fun, just to you know, just to make a video. And it was Thanksgiving. Everybody needs to talk football, so I did it. Ad nauseum. I don't even know what my record was. Don't really care. But a couple of things really did happen. And uh, it involves teams like the Chiefs. It involves teams like the Ravens. It involves teams like the Jaguars. Okay, now you're getting a sense of who the best or who the teams are who are going to represent the AFC in the playoffs. They all got you know, wins on Sunday. You know, Jacksonville squeaked out a win. Uh, Baltimore was down in uh, or out in L.A. They beat the Chargers, which pretty much ground the Chargers into the dirt, and they're going to have uh, a brand new regime probably uh, by next March. They're going to have a brand new coach, everything. Uh, they'll keep Justin Herbert, but who knows where that team's going. It's the Spanos family. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> uh, and then the Chiefs, you know, of course, I watched that. That was the Raider game. And that one was really, uh, what, what can I say? Raiders jump out to a quick lead, and they are keeping the Chiefs from scoring. And then all of a sudden, kaboom, you know, they just end up spanking the Raiders and covering the spread on the road. Uh, that was... a. Uh, a, uh, a reassuring uh, win for them. That That's going to push them into uh, the postseason. Another team uh, that, you know, kind of surprises people uh, is the Eagles. It was kind of like you're watching that Eagle game. I had it, uh, it was on the same time as the Raider game, and I was kind of watching them. And that Eagles-Bills game, first thing I noticed was the Bills just dropping passes left and right. And uh, no magnet gloves on for those guys who usually have magnet gloves on. But, you know, the poor the weather conditions and everything. Uh, that game went to overtime. And, you know, what can you say? Eagles uh, skunk one out, get the win. Uh, they're the most dominant team in the league, and of course, it's going to be probably them and the 49ers. Now, and, you know, you you could say Dallas could come in and do something. I, I really don't have a, a feel for any of these, these games. Everybody's in that same boat. You have a couple of dominating teams, you know, and they just barely cover or... You know, you don't know what to expect week from week. And I think that's what the NFL is doing. They're making sure there is no trends. Like a team doesn't go on a roll and like not only win, but cover the spread. Uh, you're not seeing a lot of that. And one of the things I also saw was uh, the end of the, the Giants-Patriots game in um, here in New Jersey. You had the Patriots going in for a tying field goal at the end. And I don't care how much wind is in the Meadowlands. It was a 30-yard kick. And that ball sailed in a very unnatural way. Uh, it, it just seems like the NFL was keeping uh, Bill Belichick at bay. Like, they're, they're making him lose. And I think he knows it now that he's being phased out. They gave him 20 years of winning football with the Pats, and he's losing. He's going to have a losing record. Uh, there's no turning back. Belichick is gone after this year, and uh, all the blame will be put on Mac Jones. He'll be put in a trading block, 
And the Patriots may just, you know, make a first round pick if they have one for a new quarterback. But yeah, I think the NFL is intentionally making Bill Belichick tank. Uh, there's no way they should have lost to Tommy DeVito and the Giants. DeVito's a hump. He's a chump. But somehow, that game went to the Giants by three points. And I think some other kicks, too, looked a little suspect. Maybe in the Bills game also. I think one of the kicks uh, looked like a magnet ball. <laughs> you know, you could say magnets and magnet gloves, but when you see unnatural stuff happening with those kicks, believe it. Something is happening, and the NFL knows that. So I think Belichick is on the way out. Uh, Denver ended up beating the Browns. Browns are on, what, a uh, second-string quarterback. Uh, they had such promise in the beginning of the year, but it is the Browns. Uh, the Broncos, I don't know how to, to, to gauge those guys. I know the Walton, the Walton family owns them, and they got the star coach and the star quarterback, and who knows? Uh, they're just going to probably just miss the playoffs or something like that to keep the fans interested. And I think that's all we're looking at. So we're going to go into week 13. Uh, I haven't even looked at anything with week 13. So uh, maybe later in the week if I feel like doing uh, picks, but not, not like every game, uh, maybe just the ones I really like. So tell me what you think. Subscribe. Please tell me what you think. Favor, you know, the, you know, the video, you know, favorite the video. And uh, just have fun, man. It's uh, the holiday season. Don't get too uptight and chill just like I am. So until you see you next time, peace. Cheers.